In the examples in this course, we will be working with data from a fictional food import company named Northwin. The database holds information on products, employees, clients, their orders, shipment companies, and purchase orders. So let's start creating macros. If you have ever created a macro in Microsoft Office Word or Microsoft Office Excel, you know that you can press the macro record button, give the macro a name, perform a few steps, then stop recording the macro and voila, you're done. Well, guess what? That is not how macros are built in Microsoft Office Access. In this application, you don't record macros, you build them. Building macros or any subsequent changes made to them are done in the Macro Builder window. To begin, click the Create tab in the ribbon and in the Macros and Code group, click on the Macro button. That opens the Macro Builder window. Now, the Macro Builder window has been updated in the 2010 version of Microsoft Office Access. So if you're using an earlier version of the application, the theory is still the same. However, the steps outlined in this course are different. In the Macro Builder window, you can specify the actions you want the macro to take, any conditions on that action, and you can optionally add comments or notes to describe each action. But before we jump into that, let's go over the Macro Builder environment. I'll start at the top of the screen with the familiar ribbon. Because we're in the Macro Builder window, the contextual tab Macro Tools Design is displayed. On the left in the Tools group, you'll see the bang symbol or exclamation point. This will allow us to run or execute our macro. When we are creating, modifying, troubleshooting our macros, and we want the code to run maybe just one command at a time, then we can use the single step button. If we want to turn our macro into Visual Basic for Applications, also known as VBA, we use what else? The Convert Macro to Visual Basic button. And I'll show you how to do that later on in this course. In the Collapse and Expand group, we have commands that, well, collapse and expand one, some, or all of our actions in our window. You might have a macro with just one or two actions, or you might have a macro with 20 or 30. But trust me, collapsing 29 actions and expanding the one that you're working on is going to save you stress and possibly some errors and some oops along the way. In the hide and show group of the ribbon, there is a button to view the action catalog pane, which right now is on the right-hand side of our screen. But it actually doesn't show all the actions, just the actions that can be run or executed in non-trusted databases. To see all the actions, you'll need to click on the Show All Actions button. And there are scores and just scores of different actions you can specify. I have added a list of these actions, as well as the most commonly used macro actions and their uses to the resource section of this video.